going to continue in our solving equations that have rational expressions. So this is our part three. Uh, these problems you would not be able to do as proportions. So you're going to have to clear by multiplying through by the LCD. You can do that on any kind of problem, but the proportion method has to have only one fraction on each side to use it. So we will use all of our second method. Uh, we still have to make sure it's an equation. It needs an equals. Okay, This one does, and it has some fractions in it. We have to check for exclusions. We don't have a variable in the denominator on this one, so there are no exclusions. A denominator will never be zero because there's no variable. So we pick our LCD. Right, our denominators are 2 and 3, so we have to have something they both go into. It will be 6. So we're going to take a 6 and multiply all the way across. Now, you're multiplying on the top. 6 times every piece. You're doing it on both sides. That's what makes it okay to do. And now you're going to clean up. In each of these, it's really 6 over 1. So your 2 is going to cancel on your diagonal. 2 will go into 6 3 times, and so you have 3 times x is 3x. In the second fraction, 3 will go into 6 2 times, so you have a minus there, minus 2x. And this side, there's nothing to cancel, so you will do 6 times 6 is 36. Put your like terms together on the left-hand side. We'll leave you just 1x or x equals 36. And so this one is actually solved. There were no exclusions. This is our solution. So for our next problem, um, we do have an equals. So it's a solved problem. Uh, we have a variable in the denominator. So we do have an exclusion this time, just 0 itself. So x cannot equal 0. We will pick our LCD. The only denominator we have is x, so that will be our LCD. And we have to multiply all the way across by the x. So we're going to do every term times x. So x times 2, x times 3 over x, and x times 1. Right? Uh, nothing cancels on the first one, so we have 2x there. When we simplify on the next one, the x will cancel. It gives us minus 3. And your equals down. Your x cancels on your third piece and it leaves you one. You have a nice linear equation there to solve. Um, so add your three to both sides. We get 2x equals 4. Divide by 2 gives you x equals 2. Make sure you did not throw that away. You only threw away 0. So 2 is your solution. For our next problem, we do have an equal, so it's an equation. Uh, we need to state exclusions because we have some variables in the denominator. Um, this one, it would be 0 itself, would make it 0, and the same here. So all we have to throw away is 0. Y cannot be 0. Our LCD, you have to cover all your denominators. So y would cover these, and we need a 3. So LCD is 3y. You're going to multiply every term on both sides by the 3y. Remember, you're using it on the numerator. And all your denominators will cancel. If they don't, you did something wrong. All right, now we're down to our simplify step. And so we try to clean up everything we can. On this one, our y cancels. So if 3 times 3 is 9, the next one, the 3 cancels, so we have y times 1 is y. On the other side, our y cancels, so we have left 3 times 5 is 15. Now we have a linear equation. We want to isolate our y, so subtract your 9 from both sides. So we get y equals 6. Look back, we did not throw 6 away, we threw 0 away. So 6 is our solution. The next one looks a little more complicated, but it's the same kind of steps. So we make sure it's an equation. It is. We have it equals. 
we have to look for our exclusions, so that is when a denominator would be zero. These are the same, so we'll just do it for one. So we will set it equal to zero and solve. So 5y minus 8, when is that zero? Add your 8 to both sides, so 5y equals 8. Divide by 5, y equals 8 fifths. So that is the value we're going to throw away. If we plugged it in here, it would give us a zero in the denominator. So we do not want that value at the end. We're throwing it out. Next, we have to pick our LCD for all the denominators. Well, they're the same. Um, this will not factor, so we're going to have to use 5y minus 8 for our LCD. So we're going to multiply every term by 5y minus 8. Right, the easy ones will be these two because they're going to cancel the whole denominator. With the 8, it will actually have to multiply by both. You're going to need parentheses there. So I'm just going to put the 8 in front and distribute it. 5y minus 8. I'll leave that for a minute. Um, this one, my 5y minus 8 canceled, so I'm left with a minus 5. Don't lose your minus there. Equals. And here, I'm just left with the 51. So now we will distribute and clean up. Times 5 gives us 40y minus 64 minus 5 equals 51. Um, combine these. So we have 40y minus 69 equals 51. Add your 69 to both sides. So 40y equals 120. Uh, divide by 40. So y equals 3. We did not throw 3 away, so 3 is our solution. For our next problem, uh, we do have an equal, so it's an equation. We're going to have to see about our exclusions. So in the first fraction, a 3 itself here, and you can set it equal to 0 if you have trouble seeing that, but 3 minus 3 would be 0. So we have to throw away 3. Right. For the second one, we're going to have to factor. So we can take out an x, and that leaves x minus 3. So we have to see when this would be 0. Well, um, you have to set each piece equal to 0. So x equals 0, or x minus 3 equals 0. x equals 0, that one we still need. Uh, this one would end up solving and give us x equals 3. So it will be the same one we already have. So we don't have to write it again. Before we erase this, we can look for our LCD because we're going to need this factored form to find it. Um, so let me erase part of it. Let's erase this, but we'll just leave the factored form there. Right For our LCD, uh, we have x minus 3 and we have x times x minus 3. You have to take all the types that you have, so we're going to need an x, and we need one of the x minus 3's, because that's the most in any one fraction. So our common denominator is x times x minus 3. Right. That is what we're going to multiply everything by. So um, let me switch to a different color. So I have uh, x times x minus 3 x times x minus 3, and x times x minus 3. Right, I did that because I already had one in blue. Right, so we'll clean up. The x minus 3 is gone on this one. You have x times 1 is x. On the next one, the entire denominator cancels with this, so we're only left there with minus 3. On this side, there's nothing to cancel, so we have 1 times x is x. So we will have to distribute. So we'll have x squared minus 3x. Right. This equation is a quadratic equation. 
So we need to get 0 on one side. I'm going to keep it so I have a positive square term. So I'm going to keep this side and I'm going to get the x off of the other side. So I'll subtract an x. Watch your signs here. We'll give you a minus 4x. All right, I also want to get the 3 off of this side. So I'll add a 3. All right, now I have x squared minus 4x plus 3 equals my 0. So we'll try to factor uh, like signs both minus. How about 3m1? So we'll set x minus 3 equals 0 and x minus 1 equals 0. This one we solve, add your 3. This one we'll solve, add the 1. We have to look back and make sure we didn't throw these away. We did throw the 3 away, so this one is not an answer. It is extraneous. The 1 is okay. We did not throw 1 away. So our solution is 1. This one is called extraneous. Right, so for our next problem, it is an equation. We have an equals. We have a fraction. And so we need to check for our exclusions. Um, see when this denominator will be 0. So you can set it equal to 0. 2y plus 1 equals 0. Subtract your 1. Divide by 2. So y equals negative 1 half. That is what we want to throw away. And that's the only denominator we had. So we're okay there. Next, we have to pick our LCD. The only denominator we have is 2y plus 1. So that will be our LCD. We will multiply every term by that on both sides. So we'll do it here. We'll do it times the 5. We'll have to distribute there. And we'll have to do it on this side, 2y. Now we'll clean up. So our 2y plus 1 will cancel on this one. So we'll have a negative 15. This one, the 5 has to distribute times the 2y plus 1. So let's just write that for a minute. So I'm actually shifting my equals a little. I like to bring it straight down, but I need to shift it this time. And here I will have to distribute. So I have y times 2y plus 1. Now we'll clean up. All right, so we'll distribute on this side. Uh, 10y plus 5. And these two can go together. So we have 10y minus 10. And this one will give us 2y squared plus y. Right, so we have a quadratic equation. We need to get a 0 on one side. I'm going to keep things on the right-hand side to have a positive square term. So I have 2y squared. I will get rid of this 10y. That will give me minus 9y. And I will have to add this 10. Right. So I have 0 equals 2y squared minus 9y plus 10. I'll have to try to factor. And so we'll use 2y and y. Like signs both minus. And let's see here. Our choices are 1 and 10 or 2 and 5. And it looks like 5 and 2 works. Um, I'll put them in and just double check. So there's a minus 4 on the outside, minus 4y, minus 5y, that works. All right, and you can take your time with that factoring. Now we'll set it apart, set each one equal to 0, and solve. So add your 5 to both sides, divide by 2, so y equals 5 halves. This one, add your 2, y equals 2. Let's check and see if we threw those away. We did not throw either one away. We threw away negative 1 half. 
So these are our two answers. And 2 is actually smaller than 5 halves, so we'll put it first and the 5 halves second. It doesn't really matter there, but normally you put them in numerical order. We'll look at one more problem with these. Right, and this one looks kind of hard. Uh, we'll see how it works out. It is an equation. It has an equal symbol. Right, uh, we look at our denominators to pick out our exclusions, and we will have to factor on this right-hand side. So we can check them all. So we'll go ahead and do that. And like signs both minus and how about 2 times 3. And it's not going to be so bad because it actually gave us the same as the other two pieces. Right, so we'll pick our exclusions. We'll set this one equal to 0. So 3 is going to be the bad value there. So we're going to throw away 3. This one, it will be a 2. Set it equal to 0. Add your 2. So 3 and 2. These will give you the same. For our LCD, we are still factored here. You have to cover every type of piece you have. And you take it from the one where it occurs the most. So we're going to need an x minus 2. It occurs once here and once here. Only once in any one fraction. So you just need one of those. Right, x minus 3, it occurs once here and once here. So only once in any one fraction. So you will just need 1. So our LCD is going to be x minus 2 times x minus 3. So that's what we're going to multiply by all the way across. I'll switch to a different color since I have used that one. So I have an x minus 2 times an x minus 3. And here I have an x minus 2 times an x minus 3, and this one, x minus 2 times x minus 3, right? This one, you can see it's going to cancel it all. This one will cancel the x minus 3. This one will cancel the x minus 2. So let's see if we can clean it up. So in my first one, I have x minus 2 left and an x minus 2. I'm just going to write both of those for a minute. In this one, I have an x minus 3 and an x minus 3. This one, I only have 2x squared left. So you're going to have to do some algebra on your left-hand side. You have a couple of FOIL problems to do before you add them. So we have x times x is x squared. Minus 2x on the outside, minus 2x on the inside gives you a minus 4x, and plus 4 at the end. All right here we have x squared, minus 3x, minus 3x will give us minus 6x, plus 9, 2x squared. Uh, we'll combine on the left-hand side x squared plus x squared gives us 2x squared minus 10x plus 13 equals 2x squared. Now, you have x squared. Normally, you would try to get a 0 on one side when you have x squared. What happens is, though, you have x squared on both sides. They are actually going to cancel when you try to get rid of one of them. So when you try to subtract a 2x squared to get a 0 on one side, one of them will cancel. So they actually wipe each other out. So we are left with negative 10x plus 13 equals 0. It's actually a linear equation. So subtract your 13. Divide by negative 10. And here you just need to clean up your signs. Two negatives will give you positive 13 over 10. Check what you threw away. We threw away 3 and 2. So we're okay. Our answer is 13 tenths.